Thanks for joining us. I'm David Horrigan, eDiscovery Council and Legal Content Director at KKIRA, and I'm here with Adam Mountner of Deutsche Bank. And uh, this is one of the interviews I'm really going to enjoy because Adam and I are both uh, alumni. We're uh, graduates of the University of Florida. Adam, thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. Sure thing. Um, Deutsche Bank. Uh, I lived in Germany for a while, uh, obviously a very prominent international bank. How'd you get uh, into banking and how'd you get into e-discovery? Sure, so I started with um, Deutsche Bank right out of school. I'm a fellow Gator as well, so after um, university here, uh, I got into the graduate training program. So um, started in the technology area and was always involved with electronic communication systems. First, first off, supporting them. Uh, as a subject matter expert, making sure that they were all working, and eventually managing the team to make sure that everything was working. Um, and at a certain point, I moved over from supporting the systems to actually managing the team who pulled all the electronic communications for e-discovery type requests. Um, and that's really where I left off, and I'm managing more on the technology side now. So making sure that the infrastructure is set up to allow the e-discovery team to pull it, the records correctly uh, and provide it to our requesters. Great. Are you finding the lawyers are getting it more than they used to? Um, well, it's always a learning curve, and um, through time, they definitely are learning more and more of it. Great. So. And on what panel are you speaking today? What brings you to Gator Nation today? Uh, the email metadata tells the whole story. Aha. You know, I guess I'm giving my age away here, but I can remember going to Legal Tech years ago where they would have the metadata wiping programs there, and they were big booths at Legal Tech. Now they've gone by the wayside. I mean, if you're drafting a contract, you want to wipe that thing, but wiping email and e-discovery can get you in a lot of trouble. It um, sure can. What do you find as far as metadata? People get now that all the metadata are producible, mm -hmm. but do you find a little bit of resistance in producing that metadata? Uh, no, I mean, because metadata does tell the whole story, hence the panel, um, the, the attorneys are definitely, they're interested in it. Um, what I'd like to say is it tells the five W's, right? What, how, where, when, and why. Um, and if you look at the email metadata, you'll see that the, the timestamp of the email tells when. The, the where is, you know, what systems actually developed and um, created the emails. And that really helps when you're looking at an investigation, understanding kind of the context for the email. It's not just around the body of the conversation, it's who communicated to who, when, and um, that helps tell part of the story. So, so is it ever litigated at all, or do people just get that it is all producible? It's definitely producible. You, you don't want to uh, you don't want to wipe that data. Um, do some people fail to ask for it? Uh, I'm, I'm thinking of the non-tech savvy lawyers. Um, sure, but that's that's where you're the um, you want to educate the, the attorneys on the importance of the data that you are producing. Um, so it's not we can't just produce it. We need to make sure that the data that we are producing, whatever data that it is, it's understood of what it is and why it's useful. You know, obviously in the news, the Apple FBI imbroglio over mm -hmm. the iPhone and the tragic incident in California has been in the news. Do you find, where do you find most of the metadata? Is it still mostly from email or are you dealing with a lot of mobile metadata? Uh, the metadata is across the board. Um, so, you know, we within the bank that has plenty of different applications that have electronic communications uh, as part of it, and every system has its own metadata. Email, to some degree, is very easy because there's standards for how email works, and everybody uses email, so it's very easy to get at that metadata. The more complicated ones are as email um, metadata on mobile systems or, uh, you know, Internet of Things kind of systems, sure. too. Because it's not a, it doesn't follow the same standard like email follows, it's more difficult to preserve that data and make it producible. Sure. With Deutsche Bank being a large international organization, cross-border issues must come up in mm -hmm. your work a lot. Um, is the, for better or for worse, in the U.S., we tend to be the litigation capital of the world, and the rest of the world is like, my gosh, the stuff you guys produce, it's amazing. Do you get pushback in other jurisdictions about this metadata, these metadata, I should say, like we're not producing that? Well, not just the metadata, but the, the, the data in, in general. Um, a lot of data privacy concerns, so even if we are more liberal about giving data here in the States, it, it is more complicated when we deal with some of the overseas jurisdictions. Sure. Adam, uh, looking forward to seeing your panel this afternoon. Thanks, uh, thanks for joining us, and uh, go Gators. Appreciate it. Go Gators.